After months of decline, reported COVID cases are starting to increase. So, so is the Delta variant to blame? And so there's what I heard, a Delta variant and a Delta Plus variant. And I'm hearing that because people are vaccine hesitant and they're not wanting to get any type of protection, or semi-protection, I will say that, I'll stress it, because I've been hearing also that people who have had two shots um, are still catching the disease. Um, but what happens with that, I think if you have like underlying health issues, it it's a lot worse for the people that have health issues or a weakened immune system. So after months of decline, the reported COVID cases increase is the Delta variant to blame. So I'm hearing even out of the Delta and Delta Plus, there might be some more variances that will come out of it because many there's still a lot of people who won't get vaccinated or refuse to. And so I'm also hearing that there's dozens of states that have stopped reporting the numbers and that sounds pretty problematic. And I believe it's going into what I was believing was gonna happen where they're gonna lay it in the laps of Americans to be responsible and not even just Americans, like people from all over. People are gonna sort of follow suit. Like if you're sick, um, we might be seeing some spikes here and there, different places. Each place will handle their situation a lot different than the next. But I believe what they want to do is act as though this is not happening and try to go back to some pre-pandemic normalcy. But it's it's really not going to work out. And what's going to end up happening is we're going to start seeing more people get sick and probably people who didn't get really ill will probably get really ill with this next wave that comes in and so that's really scary it's problematic so this is by david travis bland so after continuous declines of the new coronavirus cases since march the department of health and environmental control reported a week-to-week -week increase in the new cases so dhr department of health Environment Control reported 841 new cases of coronavirus from June 28th to July the 2nd. And so it's probably going to be a lot higher now because 4th of July, people start gathering, going on planes, traveling, going with friends, going to large crowded um, spaces. And so that might be the what we would say the uh, how they usually coin it as um, when there's like a, a super spreader event where you have a lot of people that gather like arenas and whatnot. I've been hearing some places are going to try to reopen things that were closed for quite some time. And so they want to not have to go back. And I really believe the reason why we reopen things is because here in, in L.A. County or L.A., there was a lot of cry that there was too many restrictions and there was too much closure. And a lot of people were feeling like emotionally that was doing something to their health and and then there was a cry that kids needed to go back to school. And basically, people were tired of things being closed down and some businesses were suffering. And then there was an economic crisis going on to some degree. And also, we had the pandemic crisis and, and the homeless crisis and several crises. And then the pandemic resurging over and over again and now here we go back where it's coming back again but now it's coming in the form of variants and so this is where 
people are starting to phase off and not feel like this is that serious and it almost feels like we're starting over again where people have to really get really sick before they realize this is really out of control and we need to you know limit the numbers of persons that go into certain establishments and we'll probably go back to the lines and we may even be able to panic buying if it gets really bad and so it says that's an average of about 168 reported cases a day that's what's happening so 647 cases were reported that was last week and so the numbers are steadily climbing so department of health and uh, environmental control reporting new covid 19 data monday to friday and so at least 17 deaths were reported so we're hearing about the deaths associated with this as well so this was in the past week and this was in south carolina and so i'm hearing in the south there's a numbers of these cases that are starting to rise and deaths along with it and so the percent of positive tests also slightly increased so from june 28 to july the 2nd the percentage of positive tests reported 2.6 percent compared to 2.16 percent last week so the federal center of disease control and prevention says that positivity rate consistently below five percent means the virus spread is slowing in a community and so the increase comes as a state public health official warned South Carolina could experience a surge in the virus, coronavirus cases because of the combination of low vaccination rates and an encroaching Delta variant of this virus. And so that's the other issue. And so almost 60,000 more people were reported to have completed vaccination as of June 30. And the last day reported Department of Health and Environmental Control, nearly 1.883 million people are vaccinated in South Carolina. And so that's about 43% of the state's residents. So as of Friday, 124 people were hospitalized in the state with coronavirus, and that's down from 130 last week. And so it is showing its ugly head again, this virus. Even if people want to act like it's not there or it's not real, it's coming back again in full force. And so at least 597,261 people have tested positive for coronavirus in South Carolina and 9,830 have died since March of 2020. So that is the numbers according to the Department of Health Environmental Control. And so they have launched a short and chaser, a chaser campaign, uh, oh, shock and chaser campaign. And so in the partnership with South Carolina Brewers Guild, the campaign will reward anyone who gets the COVID shot at a select breweries across the state with free beer or soda, the agency said. So to learn how to book a COVID shot vaccine appointment visit when it tells you the state's website. So I was like, I had to look at that a short and chaser. It's no, but it was a shot and chaser. So they, they've been doing things like trying to give money or prizes and different things to try to get people to get vaccinated. But I've been hearing even with the vaccination shots, people still can get the virus but it's supposed to have some type of protection where you don't end up in the hospital. But then I hear if you already are compromised and you have like really uh, fragile health, you, you know, you may or may not end up really sick. So it depends. So it's, you know, it's a level of like a barrier protection, but I don't know how good it holds up on somebody that's already got like uh, low immune system or they have some kind of health issues prior and so that's what i'm hearing so it's pretty much how this goes this is pretty much not going to go away it looks like and 
you know, what they've been doing here in South LA. They've been reopening restaurants. They're talking about opening schools for in-person learning. I'm hearing kids are starting to show that they are infected with the virus because they have relatives or parents that may not have received any vaccinations. And so that's why it has risen for the children. And so that could be a problem if they're talking about sending kids back to school. That might be really problematic. Because let's say you send your kid to school and you are somebody that, you know, you're pretty trying to be safe in your home and with your kids, and then they send your kid to school and your kid comes back with the virus because they went to school and they went around with some other kid who was exposed to it and now it's spreading in their home. So those are some things to think about. I was just wondering, well, how does that work out? You know, what do they do with families that experience or that might experience that, you know? Do they stop it before it could be a problem? Do they require that the kids have some vaccination shots or they check to make sure that they test negative for the virus. Because I know some schools um, have like the children test each week or every two weeks to see if they're infected. And I guess they have some kind of a test kit so that they can check. And then if the kid's running a fever, they have to immediately call parents and then say, the child home to see if, in fact, that it's not the virus, and then they have to bring a note back to the place where the kid is going to school. So that seems like it's going to be a lot, you know. And if you want to open these centers and schools up, that's going to be a challenge. But anyway, I believe that we're not going to see the end of this. And there's going to be more craziness and chaos that I'm hearing. There's also dis discriminating people who've been vaccinated versus people who have not been vaccinated. So there's been conflicts over that stuff. So having said that, I'm going to let this video go. What do you think? Because for them to shut off the numbers, it's like hiding the hiding what's going on, you know. And it seemed a lot safer to know what's going on because then you can direct people what areas not to be that are highly infectious areas versus areas that might have a low, lower infection rate area. And so they were doing that. They were like putting signs out, letting people know which areas had the most or the highest uh, cases of COVID so that people, if they went to those areas, they would know, oh, this area has a high concentration of it. I'll avoid this area, but we'll see how this plays out because I don't see it going away anytime soon, especially behind people's behaviors where they want to kind of like do what they want to do and they don't want to get any shots and, or maybe they have a distrust in the government issued shots and so there's a, a lot of reasons why people are feeling the way they are feeling you know, outside of having fear that something bad could happen to them. Because there has been some people who have had reactions to the shots that haven't been so great. So having said that, I'm going to let this video go. Thanks for listening.